Hello and welcome to the solution video for spicy question number 29. For this question we're going to take a closer look at the cross section of the prism. It looks like this. We're told in the question that there's a regular pentagon on there with side length 8cm, so we can label all of the sides of that pentagon 8cm. Now since the pentagon is regular we also know the size of all of the interior angles, they're 108 degrees. There are also some exterior angles we can see on here. They must all be 72 degrees. Next we can find the angle AFJ, that's this one here. Since we have a triangle AFJ, we can subtract 72 and 90 from 180 to get this angle at 18 degrees. We can then find the angle BFG, which is this angle here. All three of those angles there go together to make a straight line, so if you take 18 and 108 from 180, you're left with 54 degrees. If you now look at the triangle BFG, we've got two of the angles, so we can find the remaining one up here. Take 54 and 72 away from 180, and you're left with 54 degrees. Now we can try and find some of the sides. So for the side AF here, if you use trigonometry with the triangle AFJ, you can find this side is equal to 8 sine 72. We can also use trigonometry to find the side AJ. That would be equal to 8 cos 72. Now let's look at the triangle BFG. You can see two of the angles are the same, so this must be an isosceles triangle, so we can bisect it like this. The resulting triangles are both right angle triangles, so once again we can use trigonometry. We can find both of these lengths here, which equal 8 cos 54. Now if we look on the right hand side at triangle HCI, this is also an isosceles triangle because we have two angles the same. So if we bisect this triangle as well, like this, we end up with two right angled triangles. We can find the length IC, again using trigonometry, this time it would be 4 divided by cos 72. Now with all of this information we can work out the height of the triangle and also the base of the triangle, so we're ready to work out the area. So the area equals 1 half times the base, now the base is all of the bottom lengths added together, so we've got 8 cos 72, we've also got the base of the pentagon which is 8, and then this side IC which is 4 divided by cos 72. And then we multiply this by the perpendicular height, which is equal to 8 sine 72, plus 2 lots of 8 cos 54. Now if you type all of this into your calculator, you'll find the area of this triangle is equal to 199.1918628 cm squared. In the question, we're told the volume of the prism is equal to 900 cm cubed, and we're asked to calculate the length from C to E. So if we know the cross-sectional area, we can find the length CE by dividing the volume by this area. So CE equals 900 divided by this cross-sectional area, which gives you the answer 4.52. The question asks us for two decimal places. And that's your answer to the question. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Check out the one I think you should watch next and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos.